Prague, capital of the Czech Republic and nicknamed the city of a hundred spires. The charming city is once again host to the GC playoffs. The iconic O2 Arena stages the launching Global Champions Tour Super Grand Prix. Revved up by breathtaking acrobatics and captivating light shows, 18 riders have qualified over 18 Grand Prix in the 2019 season. Marcus Aiming and Fernando NRW were first to go in round one. They qualified at the final stage of the season in New York. The double of verticals in the last line caused four faults for Aining. It was too early to predict the consequences of that score. With no clears on the board, Epayar went in next. Winning in Doha at the opening leg of the season with usual suspect, he now opted for Virtuoso Champi. Epayar got rewarded. The first clear stood. Ben Mayer campaigned in his second launching global champions to a Super Grand Prix, coming back on Explosion W. Solid jumping from the two-time champions and they kept it to a clean sheet. Daniel Deusser on Scuderia 1918 Tobago Z qualified on a home win in Hamburg. The pair also featured in the 2018 Grand Prix but not with a lead role. Superb riding and jumping, the pair also on the clear. Runner-up in the championship, Peter de Vos, booked his golden ticket, winning the Miami Grand Prix. And just like on the beach, Claire Z was a chosen ride. An uncharacteristic fault for Claire Z set the Vos on the back foot. Derek Kenny was next, and he had Balou de Reventon jumping in excellent form. Could they join the leading pairs? An agonizing time fault could prove costly for the Irishman. Two-time launching Global Champions Tour Grand Prix winner Danny G. Waldman made a last-minute swap to Casper after winning Shanghai and Berlin on Lizzie Mary. Truly sensational jumping and riding, the clear stood, Waldman in seventh heaven and four riders on clear. Ludger Beerbaum had drawn the last starting position in round one. The legendary German came second in the 2018 Grand Prix and he was back for more. The loss of his reign meant the loss of his chances at his second podium in two years. Beerbaum was out. After round one, four riders sat on a clean score. Five sat on a single fence and Derek Canny in no man's land on one time fault. With the deck shuffled after round one, let's see who holds the trump cards in round two. Madeleine Zanotelli was the first of the riders returning on one fence down from round one. The highly talented Brazilian had Vidal Edgar M ready to go. Clean jumping in round two launched Zanotelli to the top of the table on four faults. Martin Fuchs had a stellar season on the tour, winning two Grand Prix in style. His phenomenal Grey Clooney was his partner in what could become a legendary night. But how would he deal with a four fault in round one? What a result from the Swiss! The fast clear really put the pressure on the riders to come and he pushed Zanotelli to second. Peter de Vos on the same four faults started knowing that Fuchs had laid down the gauntlet. Could he rise to the occasion? The Belgian tried to get the same pace in his ride, but jumping out of the double the back rail fell. And so did Peter's rank. With one more fence down de Vos tumbled down the order and Fuchs still led. Marcus Aining and Cornado NRW packed power and experience. But did they pack the pace? In his iconic high revving style, Aining cruised round, but at the finish line he was three and a half seconds slower. Aining slid to second place. Derek Kenny carried just one single time fault from round one. A big tactical question was to be answered by the Irishman. Confident in the talent and the ability of his stallion, Kenny left the time for what it was and opted for the slow clear. And that was what he got, plus one time fault. Derek Kenny moved to the lead on an unconventional two time faults. Danny G. Waldman had wrestled through the first round and was the first to start on clear. Could the power woman do it again? Mid course, she got close to an oxer and couldn't make it over the back rail. The plank on Charles Bridge fell as well, and with an other time fault, she was off the podium with a total of nine. Daniel Deusser and Tobago Z were next, also with a clean slate. Deusser, as number three on the overall championship, motivated his chestnut stallion. Out of the triple combination, the plank fell, and time would become important. Four faults and slower than Marcus Aiming, Daniel Deusser didn't make it on the podium. And so it came down to Ben Meer. 
Kenny led the race, but Mayer had margin. One, three strides. Come on, Ben. One more. Just a check, planks to win. The first ever double clear in the Longines Global Champions Tour Super Grand Prix at the completion of a stellar season. Ben Mayer and Explosion W got what they came for, the biggest win of the season. Derek Kenny finished second on the podium and found Martin Fuchs in third after a fantastic second round. Let's listen to what the Longines Global Champions Tour Super Grand Prix winner has to say. I don't know what to feel right now. Um, never a better feeling than to go at the end of the class here with a crowd like this. Um, amazing sport today and uh, top horses and riders in the world, but to come here at the end, I took some risk. I didn't go too fast to jump the clear round. I had some luck over there on the pink one and it stayed up and uh, I knew it would be my day. So happy to have the support of everyone and uh, one of the best uh, moments in my career. What a season 2019 has been. 18 stages delivered champions in every ride, but the dominant force also powered through Prague. Ben Mayer and Explosion W in a league of their own.